Joining me is our boys 15 to 18 champion Hector Gutierrez from Mexico with rounds of 75-75. Hector, uh, you won in the three hole playoff here uh, on the second hole with the birdie. Uh, you made about a 10 footer there for the birdie and the win. Uh, just kind of walk us uh, through that playoff. Well, uh, the first hole I just wanted to lay down the fairway and then take a good shot because I knew it was going to be kind of far. And then the next hole I wanted to give myself a chance to make birdie. So I just put it out. I put it out, uh, put really good, and it went in luckily. Okay, and uh, you know Hector uh, yesterday uh, during round one, um, you know, kind of got off to a rough start with a uh, shooting four over in front nine, came back, and uh, in one under par thirty five. You know, uh, did that, you know, kind of give you some momentum coming into the final round today? Yeah, the front nine I didn't play really good on the weekend, but the second nine I was able to hit better irons and hit better tee shots, so it really helped. Okay, great. Well, Hector, we appreciate your time. We look Thank forward you. to seeing you in the future. Joining me is our girls 15 to 18 champion, Amina Name. Amina, you had rounds of 82, 71 today, and uh, you came away with the victory. Just kind of walk us through your two rounds. Well, yesterday I was thinking too much, and today I tried not to think that much. Just I saw the target, and then I just hit it there, and I tried not to think about anything else. Yeah, you know, you coming off of 82 yesterday, you know, you kind of struggled, I didn't have any birdies, and uh, today you were able to, uh, to pull off four birdies, uh, three on your back nine, to come away with a, a one under par 71. You know, what was going through your mind uh, today on that back nine? Well, I was trying to stay in the present, like last time, and I was, well, just uh, trying not to think, and that really helped. Okay, great. Well, uh, Amina, we really appreciate your time, and we look forward to seeing you in the future. I'm here with our boys 11 to 14 champion, Patton Williams. Patton, you had rounds of 69, 79. Yes. Got you into a playoff. Uh, that playoff went five holes. Uh, you were able to close it out on the fifth hole with the par. Um, just kind of walks through uh, your two rounds and then uh, kind of uh, walks through the playoff too. Well, the first round, uh, I think the difference between the first and second round was my putting. The first round I probably had around like 28 putts, and then the second round I kind of lost my distance speed. I hit the ball the same way both days. Okay, and... Uh, yeah, Patton, you kind of got off to a, to a rough start today with a double bogey on your opening hole, but you know you were able to bounce back. A couple birdies on your back nine, um, you know, to close in the 79. Um, you got you into the the playoff. Uh, you know, what was your mindset? You know, coming down the the back nine today to to you know secure that secure that win. Uh, I felt like I had to make more birdies. Okay, all right. That was basically it. I had to make more birdies, the the better. All right, awesome. Well, uh, well, Patton, we really appreciate your time, and we look forward to seeing you in the future. Joining me is our girls 11 to 14 champion, Rachel Keen. Rachel, you had rounds of 85 and 80 today, coming away with the seven shot win. Just kind of walk us through your two rounds. Well, it was just kind of, if you can't hit the green, put it on, try and get, and try and, if you can, make the par, if not, bogey the best. Okay, and uh, you know, Rachel, you, you came away with four birdies uh, over the, the two rounds and uh, you birdied your 17th hole today. Um, part 18, uh, you know, did, did closing, uh, you know, that way, you know, definitely uh, kind of feel good to you? Yeah. All right, awesome. Well, uh, Rachel, we really appreciate the time, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Yep. Hey, I'm here with boys 15 to 18 champion, Logan Stewart. Shot a two-day total of 142, 200 par. Uh, Logan, from Crossville, Tennessee, is a hometown event for you. Had a nice gathering of friends and family out here. How uh, how'd you feel? How confident were you coming into the weekend? You're able to come out on top. I was really confident. I just got a, it, it was a, a big help that we we can have uh, caddies here. Uh, my caddy did a really good job of keeping me calm. Um, I felt really good. You drive the ball well here. You can you can score. Nice. Well, yeah. Like I said, hometown event for you. Say so you played here a bunch. Um, you know, down one shot to Chase coming into today, playing a similar pairing with, with you guys today. Um, you know, what were you able to do to post such a consistent 71-71 out here on a, on a tough course? Uh, I just I drove the ball really well this week. Uh, I did a really good job of just keeping it in front of me, keeping it in play. Uh, putting could have been a little better, but I was I played pretty consistent uh, from tee to green. Just I, I left a lot out there. And just I stayed really calm too. And that was that was a huge huge advantage that I had on the other guys. Okay. Well, congratulations again. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Thank you. Hey, I'm here with uh, Luke Skelf. Shot a two-day total of 143, one under par. Boys 11-14 champion. So, Luke, I uh, see you got some crazy loudmouth pants on. Had some on yesterday as well. 
got the caddy rocking it in your dad today. Um, you know, is that kind of a superstition for you, right? Wear the loud mouth? Second time I've seen you out here wearing them. Yeah, I mean, I kind of, I wear them every tournament, so yeah. just kind of a tradition, I guess. So. How many, uh, how many different pairs do you have? Probably around 25. Wow. That's a, that's a, quite the collection. It's the RG3 yeah. of uh, junior golf there with yeah. the, the pants. Well, back to golf. Shot an impressive one under par this weekend. Um, you know, what do you think this, uh, how this course set up for your game? How, why did you, why did you play so well? Uh, course set up good. I like how the par fives are spread out because I played the par fives really well. I played them at five under, so. Uh, I mean, I can get to them if I can't just hit a wedge in there. So. Okay. Well, you know, it's the second time I've uh, seen you at one of my tournaments, handing you trophy. Uh, well, you know, your confidence level going into these events seems to be very high. Yeah. Um, you know, what do you work on in the off season to kind of prepare uh, for everything? Mainly short game because that's what's most important. So. Okay. Well, congratulations, Luke. Thanks. See you again soon. Hey, I'm here with girls 15-18 champion Meredith Moyer. She shot a two-day total of 162. Uh, Meredith came out here. It was a very small field this week. Uh, but you came out, take, took care of business, one by 20 shots. Um, you know, what do you think set up really well for you out here at this golf course? Uh, I think I got like a good start the first day because the course was a bit, little bit longer. It played long, and uh, my advantage is my driver. So I hit my driver pretty far. So that gave me a, like a great amount of power to put it in the hole. So. Okay, great. And then like uh, you know, the weather today was just absolutely beautiful. No wind, the sun was out, shining, not a cloud in the sky. Yesterday didn't have, wasn't so lucky. Wind was whipping around, it was very cold, overcast. You know, how do you think the course changed from day one to day two? Uh, I think it changed drastically. We had the the tees were up a little bit, and um, it was better weather. But I think I played better in the harsh weather. But it was a great day. It was a great course. So. Yeah, I think yes. you were more more suited for the the Scotland weather. Yes. Uh, like yesterday. Yes. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Hope to see you again soon. Hey, I'm here with girls 11 to 14 champion, Lizzie Loy. Lizzie, kind of a crazy start to yesterday. Uh, very windy, very, uh, you know, kind of ominous looking weather. Um, how were you able to come out and post such a good score round one? And then obviously today in the, in the easy weather, it was probably pretty easy for you. But uh, how were you able to stay focused yesterday during, uh, during that weather? I was just patient and focus on every shot. Okay. How did you think the course set up for you this weekend? Did you have anything that was working really well for you? Mm, it kind of all just went to, in place. Nice. It all worked. Well, yeah, it obviously worked for you. One by two shots. You come down the stretch here, you're only uh, only up a couple shots. Did you know you were beating Skylar by only a couple shots coming down the wire? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Did that change the way you played the last couple holes? Not really. I just bared down. knew I had to keep playing. Okay. Well, congratulations. Thank we you. We hope to see you again soon.